Hello? Hello, this is uh, Yuri calling from Germany. <laughs> are you calling from Germany? Yes, yes, we are from Germany. Do I, do I talk to Taka? Yes, this is him. Uh, you're not in Germany though, are you? I'm in Germany actually, but tomorrow I, I, I go to the airport and leave. Really? Yeah, actually I'm in Munich and in Bavaria. It's in the south of Germany. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, and here it's already afternoon. And the day is coming to an end, and uh, I, I pack all my stuff, and uh, yeah, tomorrow in the morning I, I come to New Jersey. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> How far is that? That's far, isn't it? It's, it's really far, it's really far. It's a 10 hour flight. <laughs> and 10 hours. Yeah, yeah. And, um, I, I meet at the airport with my colleague. It's, it's funny, his name is also Yuri. So uh, you will meet two Yuris. Yuri Square. And, yeah, <laughs> Yuri Schwartz. And uh, yeah, we take a rental car from, from the airport and, and drive to Summer's Point. But okay, yeah, we'll be here tomorrow, so we'll see you tomorrow at some time. And then to film uh, at 9 a.m. on Sunday, right? Yeah, let's, let's say 9 a.m. On, on Sunday. But I definitely will show up tomorrow in the, in the evening so we can, can catch up and uh, can, can see your home or we can... Yeah, we, um, can, we yeah. can show you some cool places. Have you ever been here before? To New Jersey, uh, I, I've never been, no. Only to, to New York, Arizona, and Canada. Oh, wow. Oh, so this is exciting. It, it's actually, yeah, it's, it's really exciting. It's also like the, the first traveling after the pandemic. Yeah. yeah. Pandemic is still on a little bit, but but it's, it's like the first big uh, abroad shooting since since the virus came up. So it's really really exciting. All right, good morning, everybody. What is up? Another truly beautiful day in paradise out here. Look at this. This is the weather that you wait for all year long, really. Sweatshirt, t-shirt, and jeans weather. Perfect autumn Halloween-y weather. But today we got something really exciting going on. Uh, reason why we haven't uploaded uh, so many videos recently is because today and tomorrow, we're gonna be doing two full film days with a German production company for a show called Galileo. That airs in Germany. So both the producer and the guy that's gonna be directing the shoot and the camera guy are gonna be showing up here in about 15 minutes to our house directly from Germany. They just flew in yesterday um, and booked a hotel right down the street. Um, they took a 10 hour flight plus whatever other traveling that they had to do just to get here. And we're gonna be filming today all day. This is gonna get crazy, but both their names are Yuri and Yuri, which is hilarious to me. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. We got them this little gift here. I'll show you guys. Little present for them when they arrive. And this is something to bring them back to the motherland. I don't know. We just thought it was funny. Made in Holland, I believe, and the Netherlands. So they should be familiar with those. And we got the buggy, who was really excited about the shoot today. Pop, pop, don't forget to brush your teeth and put that, your deodorant on. Who are you Stinky. talking to me? I did both already. Oh, you did? You got ready for the shoot? Yeah. All right. Okay. Are you waiting for the arrival of Yuri and Yuri? Yuri squared. <laughs> Guys, I got this straightener out of one of the liquidation palettes that we, we bought a while ago. I actually really like it. It was a nice flavor. Ava. Sky, sky tint. But first, we're going to get some coffee here to get the day started off right. And then we're gonna get right into it. And we're gonna try to show you guys as much of the behind the scenes as possible. We're not really sure how they're gonna feel about us filming them, filming us, filming them, but we're gonna do it anyway. 
So, perfect day. Let's use some Chobani creamer. Sammy's favorite. Also, I enjoy it as well. And then some coffee. That's it right there. Coffee before claims. The Yuri's have not arrived yet, but we were. One, I was saying that they probably are very specific about the car that they rented, and it's either going to be some kind of a German engineered car. What do you think? I'm not sure. I was claiming that they didn't have a choice, but you do have a choice, kind of. I don't know what kind they would. A Volkswagen, a BMW, or just a minivan. Like I bet a, you it's like a, a Chrysler. I, I bet you it's a Toyota. I bet you it's a Jeep. A Jeep? You think they just like a lot of like room for their equipment and stuff until they show up with just this. I'd be dying if they showed up with a GoPro. No, nah, they use like a like almost probably similar to that camera though. Oh my gosh. Yeah. MJ eats it all. I got this. I was getting either litter or cat food at the PetSmart down the street and they usually have cat grass but this one was usda organic so i got it and they loved it so i'm gonna have to get more what kind of car is it it's a because i've had that on my car so i to see what the car is it's a truck it's a freaking toyota i it's called a forerunner. it you did call it. it did i say it on should we get the presents for him yeah do you think they're gonna oh damn ghosty fell we'll get ghosty and put him back up here <laughs> what these are good presents yeah from big lots guys we got, they have no gmos they in don't there. there's no gmos in there they're made in uh the netherlands yeah, that's true they don't have to they're that. straight from their country nah they're part of the world though why do you park there oh because they want to get opening shots of the, the go house get ghosty. Go get ghosty. damn why didn't i freaking just make sure Rue doesn't get out they're not going to be filming off the bat Oh, you put something in it? Yeah, I put rocks in there. We should put sand in there. Yeah, but I didn't have any sand. I had no fun. Yuri. Hello, good morning. How are you? Squared. Hi. Is it both the Yuri's? Yuri. Yuri? Yuri? The cat ears. Thank you. I like to get people in the spirit. We got you guys a greeting gift. Stroop waffles. Do you guys even eat these? Oh, nice. Do you eat these or no? Of course. Do you know about that? <laughs> no. Yuri. What's up, man? Yuri. Are you the producer one and he's the filmer? Yes. Okay. Yes. Hey. Hi. What happened I won't shake your hand. I'll shake your, your, okay. your hand left. <laughs> Pound hey. it. Hey, guys. <laughs> Is that the camera? That's one of the two cameras. Okay. Or three or something. You know? <laughs> That's a good one, right? Yep. Yeah. All right, yeah. perfect. Yeah. You want to here? Give him the present. Oh. Oh. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry. It's, it's good for <laughs> coffee, maybe. Yeah. yeah, that's what it's for. You can put it on the tea. I'm from Montana. Oh. Yeah, yeah. How far is Montana from here? Far. Far. Yeah. It's, it's furthish. It's basically kind of like, uh, like just almost in Seattle. Okay. So it's actually like diagonally across. It's far. It's as far as you can go. I had to ask you guys yeah, if you yeah. wanted to come over yesterday after your 10 hour flight, though. Yeah. yeah. I was no, like, well, well, he was like, yeah, we should go over. I'm like, let's see what you feel like when he got yeah. to the top. <laughs> I would have just gone to sleep there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Until after the drive all day really long. Tired. Yeah, yeah. How? It's hard, though, when you're um, much of a like time difference. What time is it now? For me, at least. So in Germany, well, for, it's plus for, seven hours. For me, it's like two hours. So in Germany, so Sunday it's, afternoon now. it's like four or but whatever. It's yeah. like no, to, to Germany, it's seven so hours. Crazy. That's what I'm saying. Right yeah. now, in, like in Germany, action. it's what time, you think? It's, it's it all, actually, I can, I can I show it to you. It's, um, okay, so that's what it is. I think now it's, what it is. Here is it's nine, twenty-two, and it's like yeah, 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 yeah. Three p.m. He's got a, a strange one too. So you feel way crazy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I feel good. I feel good. Ready to go, right? Yeah, yeah ready to go. The first German film crew that we've ever hung out with before. Right there, he matches his car. All black, blends in. Look at this. 
This is Rue. Oh my god, it's my cat's distant cousin. You have a black cat? <laughs> this is our youngest. This is our best find ever though. Okay. Somebody flea market for free. Someone left a box of kittens and she was the only black one, so I was like, I gotta get her because That's fine. <laughs> no <laughs> way. <laughs> I thought you was this is cousin. Thing. What's the name? Kitty a uh, little boy. Little boy it's a boy. Yeah, there's also a kitty. Uh, hi. She's smaller than he is, though, right? Yeah, yeah, no, my, he's huge. He doesn't, yeah. he thinks he's tiny, but he's actually huge. He's a big boy? Yes. We got one of those. She's like, uh, really bad about going outside. Mm. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, he doesn't, he does not She'll go run out. And he likes to lay in the bed a lot. Also, we've got that guy from a rescue because okay. he used to live on, around the street okay and they took him away the dog catcher uh -huh. like the guy who comes animal control they take him to the kill shelter okay and they almost killed the guy oh, yeah. on the neighborhood cats mm -hmm. and they bring him there they give him 14 days for somebody to claim them what does he care about a cat walking around i guess because they go in his yard and he's miserable i don't know he's but more mad strange. because the cat is cooler than him We've, well, we've actually... So hence that's why cool, he... Hence cool cat. <laughs> that's <laughs> why he, he got so mad about it. You know, um, preparation? Yes. For getting... This, for getting um, so we can back up and hook it up, you mean? Yeah. And then... Uh, so we could, can film this like, now it's going. We start now, let's prepare. Okay. <laughs> and then drive with the, <laughs> with the pickup. Yeah. And then... One uh, because he did the thing on. Let me just put some microphones. What's the plan? The okay, desk. is that the next plan? That's whoa, oh, what that? So this is real gold. It's a Jesus piece. So Can you send it? yeah. What is it? It's a Jesus piece, real gold. Probably worth about. Okay, we can see how for the hinsetzen. Is that what we're doing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the German is is uh, getting. I've been reading up aus, on it. Ausgezeichnet. I can <laughs> understand tones. Hold on like one second, one second. So I'm going this way or going that way? Uh, you, you're going to both end up like right there where okay. the Chanel uh, box Perfect. is. I'm and I'm it. going. We're going to end up back there, and then and then we'll be able to like shoot the whole thing. From Perfect. The Perfect. One second. Give me a second. I'm not be ready busy. yet. River, get ready. River. You're good? Okay, he's, she's, he, good. she's ready. She's, she's good. good, she's good. Okay, and go for it. Like, three different vintage Gucci bags. They're authentic. Insane. This is one of them. The other ones are in the bottom of my closet. What, what, what would be the price for something like this? I mean, it's, it's a Gucci Something like bag. this? I mean, the condition of this isn't that bad but it's not that good. so some water buddy oh, do we have water in the car right? i have some there. water yeah, let's, we got we got, got a let's we, got we got pellegrino for you guys if you want it it's uh, cold it's in the fridge we looked up what the most drank thing in germany was and that came is, up is, that, that <laughs> is it pellegrino <laughs> uh, it's, yeah. it came up on there do you want it's, it it's famous, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you think we were doing a good shoot so far here Yes, yes, uh, we're doing a really good shoot. Yeah, so uh, it's a really, really nice home, a really nice furniture, really nice stuff, really nice items you found. So thanks, thanks a lot. It's really, really cool what you do. Thank you. Yes, yes. I uh, wanted one question to see if you could. Uh, I got this comment on my uh, our YouTube channel earlier. Yes. Which and comment? It, it is in, in, in German. It, it is in German, right? Uh, this one right uh, here. All she does is, is that German? That's German, yeah. Do you know what it is? Johanna Sammy and Tucker of Deutsch. Das wäre lustig. Grüß aus Deutschland. Immer wieder schön anzuschauen. So he's he's writing. Uh, if if you guys talk uh, would talk in German, and you could understand everything, it would be really really funny. A nice regards from Germany. It's it's nice to but see they what watch, you do. Even if they don't understand, I think they understand um, to an extent English. But but uh, he says like if they would talk German, it would be a great thing. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe this show he'll like. Yeah, because it'll be in German for once. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this so, is a this 3D is a three D camera. Three three hundred sixty degree camera. So as you can see, at any given point of time, it's actually filming oh everything gosh. around you at the same time. 
and it it basically it, it's like it's like a drone for indoors and so the idea is basically for you to hold it and both of you to just re-walk through the whole place you know and it'll basically shoot you as we see as you can see it shooting me right yeah so if we walk together it's you know you can see we yeah. it basically captures both of us together and we can turn it later around but we can also see where we're going into you know what i mean so if you could just walk through kind of like like i am right now don't look at it just, kind just of look walk around, around look around with this in the same position this basically kind of in front of you all you need to do is kind of hold it it doesn't have to be that outstretched even okay if you Ooh. hold it like this and just kind of roll through it we're going to hide and this will capture your side but also where you're going at the same time we can edit it together okay. and counter cut with what we have is there Perfect. no talking um or just walking you know you, or, you, you can you can actually it. talk it says oh you know let's show them that you know like kind of like you know do 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 some something like that you know kind of but not constant talking you know just kind of walk in and says oh yeah look let's show them that you know so okay. so basically and we're just going to hide and we're going to watch this and then you'll get electroshocks every time you do it wrong <laughs> It'll just, you'll feel a seizing, a You gotta put pain. it on your neck, though. <laughs> you gotta put it on her neck, not the arm. Well, the ears. We can, like, basically have her electrocute her through the ears. <laughs> All right, the first segment of what we're filming for the German television station has been concluded. Um, we did basically a meet and greet, walk through the house, and showed a bunch of items that we found or salvaged stuff we've sold or the value of certain things um, just to give them an idea <clears throat> of how it works and then we did like a 360 view of the whole house with that little 360 camera that they were showing already so far very successful um, awesome shoot and we're gonna go out and do some trash picking with the two guys in a minute in a little bit so here's what we got for lunch we're doing organic bagel, blueberry bagel, eggs, cheese, and yeah, that's it. Pretty simple lunch we got going here today because we kind of skipped breakfast. Sammy liked to eat the last banana and leave me with nothing. Leave me in the dust, me and Buggy. Listen, I woke up before him and I was telling Vru, I said, you snooze, you lose. I'm eating the last banana. You know what they say? The early, early bird? Early buggy gets the wetties. Damn well they don't get wetties in the AM. If it was up to bugs, he would. It's not supposed to be up here. It's cold out. You chose to wear that outfit? Because it's been hot. So I was like, well, yeah, I would rather be in like, I don't know, like a nice, like big oversized crew neck, but I thought it was going to be hot. So I was like, I'll just wear a nice light romper and it's cold. Of course, my man's cooked me some lunch. Just one piece of toast. You want some cheese or not? Some cheese. Oh, I have the shredded cheese. All right. So somebody else asked for more details because we posted a little video to our YouTube community thing. But this is a show that's called Galileo, is the name of it. And it is a people and interest show that's more geared towards reality, more so than, real, than reality TV. It's like a more journalistic, news-worthy show than it is reality TV. So it's just real life, really. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the camera that they're using. They went to go get lunch, but this is the camera he's been using to shoot the show. Um, he said it's about $4,000. Uh, and that the lens is about $7,000. So this is a Lumix s1h uh and the lens is about almost i guess double the uh value of the actual camera so this is the setup that they're using to film the show that is uh they have millions of viewers so pretty cool 
waiting for them to get back, and then we're going to go on the treasure hunt. Back again? Back again. You went to launch? Yep. What place? Uh, where'd we go? Hold on. It was kind of like an Italian, mostly takeout place. Hey. Do you remember the name we went to? Miri. Mirsini. Mirsini. Oh, is it like really small? Yeah, really small. Next wide. to Wawa? Yes, yes, okay. yes, yeah, yeah. That I've been there before. Yeah. For people they uh know my brother oh, okay. doing it, yeah. Okay, cool. Look how much footage he's getting of Buggy. Famous cat. Okay. Perfect. Um, so he's the same same uh, cap. That's real. Yeah. yeah. Oh, same you cap. Wear, you wear the same cap. Look, on her shoulder is the cat. Okay, now it's come time to sign the contracts. We thought they were gonna just bring them in and have them in German, and then just read off what it says to us in faith that they were telling the truth. Wait a second. Is this the same as that one? Oh, yeah. But okay, first time doing a contract for a German production company. Here it is. Storyhouse Productions. Okay, obviously we're not filming for the vlog as much because we're filming for the actual German TV show, but we're going to take them over to the islands and start doing some trash picking. So today we have the trailer hooked up and I'm not thinking that we're going to be able to film the actual picking with our GoPro because they're going to be filming with their cameras. There's one right there actually. Um, but we're going to show you guys, we'll either like tonight or tomorrow or sometime we'll show you guys what we find uh, while we're with the German crew. So that's what we're going to do. So cut until later. I'm not sure when I'll be able to film again. I'm putting the mic on the side of me because yeah. when I sit back, I'm not trying to squish this. I got you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, so we're doing the behind the scenes here. We found some cool stuff already. Well, we're going to show you guys way later on, maybe in a couple of days, but he's adjusting the camera here. And we're shooting with this camera in here. And then every time we come across something of good treasure value, he gets out and films it with his camera. So. I'm getting some gold here. Look, see, he's filming us. Okay, I know that this video is a lot of talking, of me talking, but I'm just trying to explain what's going on because it's hard to film anything other than like quick videos of the behind the scenes of what we're filming with the German TV show. Uh, but next day, this is day two, our last day filming. Just got some coffee because we ran out at home. So Starbucks coffee today treating ourselves but I did see a little like wooden bridge thing it's like a little bridge that would go in a garden or over like a little pond right in the trash here on the way to get the coffee so I might just pick that up but today we're going to be showing the items that we got last night doing a little bit of interviewing uh, with the Germans and then uh, showing how we would post an item or a set of items to Facebook to sell or to eBay or whatever. We do use eBay somewhat still. So we're gonna show that technique as well. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so later start today than we did yesterday. According to them, we got everything they could have wished for. Uh, basically it was the best case scenario. We found a lot of stuff, everything went well. So it really did show the difference in what you can find in the trash we got a TV we'll just I'll show you guys uh, at either today this morning or tonight later on when they leave but I'm about to grab this little bridge thing if it's still here let's see so today it's gonna be Monday morning Let's just check this out. Let's just check this out. Here's the bridge. 
see if it's pretty cool. I might have to just maybe take it, but it doesn't look that great, so we'll see. Right off the bat here. Little bridge uh, thing. It's actually really cool. It's just uh, pretty rotten. So I don't know. I don't really think that's going to be something I can sell. So I'm just leaving it. Alright, so I wanted to show you guys what we scored yesterday while we were out filming. And check this out. Unreal, right? This couch. So that was a tip from uh, this guy Brian that we knew from before. We got uh, something for his daughter out of a house clean out. And he tipped us off about the couch being in the trash. And then we scored this antique furniture set. Um, really unique wood chairs and table. And then the, the middle piece to the table is right there so it can widen. And it has a lot of, of this white mold on it. Which should be fairly easy to uh, just clean off. So that's the main stuff we scored there. And then I'll show you guys what's in the truck too. All right, so also there's the fourth chair. We got a TV. We actually picked up the TV this time. Um, Sammy scored this compass out of a box of picture frames. Really cool, amazing piece actually. This uh, painting, which looks to be signed somewhere down south, maybe Key West or maybe in the Bahamas, I'm not sure. And then over here we got some vintage Christmas lights that plug in, two signed pictures, photographs, prints, I guess you would call them. These are like old fruit crates and a whole box of uh, some documents about the Episcopal Academy and then actually a decent amount of old newspapers from the 60s uh, some that had to do with missions to space so pretty interesting stuff actually so that's what we scored yesterday while out and that's all going to be on the uh the documentary show for german tv but i just wanted to show everyone what we got because i know i was leaving people kind of out of what we were actually doing because I wasn't able to film every another day of filming coming up today but I gotta vacuum the dirt off the porch right now that's what we're doing right now back again uh, yeah. made it back yeah I thought we were done we, we erased all the footage so we have, we have to, to start <laughs> you can like walk out of the house talk about <laughs> again for the 10th time the morning. Good morning. yeah this is america <laughs> <laughs> starbucks coffee that's what i have too because we didn't have any left inside okay okay how are you pound it guys hey man epic shoot yesterday right it was great we That's got right. the stuff. No, it was funny because I looked at the footage from inside the car and it was like, wait, like your your reactions when you're like, when you're spotting something, it's just really hysterical. Like, because it has like <laughs> both of you. <laughs> there is like a lot of footage on there. So yeah, 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 yeah be yeah. careful what you edit in. <laughs> it, you know, it's, it's, actually, it's actually really, really easy because what you do is they're in the car, they're in the car, they're, oh, they're out of the car and then you go back. A little seconds. bit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know when that. we saw the couch, that we reacted for sure because we didn't think it was going to be there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. No, no, that, but it's like it's actually really easy because it's a lot of footage but you really just go there in the car oh they're out of the car then go a little bit back where they're still in the car and that's the thing you need. no it's it's amazing you know also um your camera i saw some shots it's really really aesthetic really beautiful yeah. we had a nice nice uh, atmosphere the sun was down it was looking it was really nice there was like there's a certain lens that does really nice when it, when the light hits it. It just kind of like has a couple of like flares and stuff. Yeah. So when they were like, when they were like uh, with the newspapers, I was shooting against the light, and it's like when the sun hits, like it's like it does like it's, 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 it's really cool. yeah. it looks really good. I got you. 
Das ist quasi die eine Kamera, quasi, du sitzt quasi da. Äh, die, die zweite Kamera sitzt quasi neben dir mhm. da. Die erste Kamera vor dir direkt. Und wir benutzen einfach so diese, diesen Schlauch hier mhm. so als, äh, als Bild. Exactly. That's, that's what I was thinking, actually. <laughs> I wanted to have this couch. Okay, day two of the shoot. Yeah. They turned. So you got that turn then when I said that yesterday. You did, okay. I was like, I, don't, I couldn't tell if he was just like being nice and saying he understood the term. What, Grinch? Yeah. I think the like, movie was like in Germany, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's so good. With it's, Jim Carrey? It's funny, yeah. <laughs> so good. This, uh, turned our garage into a German TV television studio. We're going to be uh, doing a live stream uh, right to Berlin later today for millions of viewers. That's, you're not telling the truth, is that true? <laughs> like, you sound so sure. A friend of mine who used to work for The Sun, the British tabloid newspaper, used to say, never let truth spoil a good story. Yes. <laughs> okay. You have a good true. story going and don't you ruin it. <laughs> Damn, then I, I would never have a good story. All right, we got the interviews going. Sammy J is ready for her big shoot. And what are you going to talk about on here? I don't know. It depends on what they ask me. They're grilling you about personal questions. Yes, personal questions like what is going on in the car when, when you're really it. horny and, and hunting for <laughs> treasures. <laughs> <laughs> but speak truthfully what goes on. No, I will. I usually always do. Ich hab, ja, also da mache ich noch ein paar dazu. Ich wollte nur einfach checken, dass das alles funktioniert. Ja, und wie fliegt die sich? Good, also I went re actually quite high where there's a lot of wind. She's okay. fine, you know, so, okay, cool. So I think we're, we're, I think we're <laughs> going to be okay. <laughs> Correct, this is a, people. All right, we're filming in the garage right now, so a little behind the scenes. Do you know what kind of metal this is? I think it's... All right, so we officially wrapped up with the shooting of the German TV show, but so this item, and we, the... Yuri and Yuri wanted to go out and eat dinner with us, but Sissy, what happened with Sissy? Sissy. So, one of the Yuri squared uh, left the garage door open, and the garage was open, so Sissy got out, but I'm not going to say it's really their fault, because our, our garage door, you need to kind of like slam it. It's one of those doors, and they didn't know that, so it's pretty much our fault. Or my fault for not just sticking all the cats in one room and closing them in, but I felt the end. But she's underneath of the deck right now. And literally been out here for a while now. She's under here. So chances are she's going to come out pretty soon, hopefully. Um, but other than that, we're going to sell this couch thing, the, the banquet. Yeah, we're going to put it out there for them, right? And the guy's coming right now to get it. And then... We have the new couch that we got out of the trash. Which Lucky McLuckster was just checking out. And Yuri and Turner put that couch up against the neighbor's fence because they wanted it cleared out in the garage for the shot they were getting. And she was sitting on there too. I was a little jealous. I was like, I want that in the house. But we have a lot of antique couches in this. We really do. Because we have this little love seat that we got from Big Mama's caretaker down the street you guys know who I'm talking about um, this was from his mom's house we bought a bunch of stuff this was one of the pieces but I put this little blanket over because look at this creepy talk about crazy crevasses those would, crevices ain't right I would think though that somebody would buy it for to reupholster it to redo it yeah and repaint it this one is burdensome is burdensome it's just up here because it it uh, might stay a little bit nicer than being like in the yard or in the shed, so. So should we take this out of here? Yes. Go backwards anyway, never mind. Was that ridiculous, huh?
this baby gets up here, up she, she ain't coming back. For what? Here's the other couch. Move it all the way back. More even? <laughs> this thing? Yeah, you want to move it? In no, more? that's good. Yeah. She's not, uh, not light. Perfect, though. It's crazy because we've been like filming with them all day. And it's like a different type of exhaustion. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because like obviously we were being ourselves but it's not as easy as just us filming ourselves you know well obviously it feels like we have to be pleasing to make sure that we're like doing what's right for the show even if it has nothing to do with them just our own personal like goal to do it good yeah is a lot of stress because like on the regular video it's like eh, this is just every day so what are you supposed to stress every minute you can't so yeah and like i'm, I'm in the back of my head because like i'm an overthinker and i know you're probably doing it too just keeping in mind that like this is going to be another country people from a fully different country our voices are just dubbed over so i was trying to explain it like anything that i said i was trying to say it in a way that you know a normal person would understand because like we have a lot of slang over here in the u.s yeah, but he's dubbing it over very generically, to. too. Like, he's not going to say <laughs> Facebook. He's going to say, like, this social gonna, media. This is going to be funny to watch. You guys got to watch it when it comes out. Hopefully, the only thing that I'm worried about is them not uploading our segment to YouTube. Because it's going to be hard Why to find. They, I don't know. Because do they even do that? Because if anybody, we like a foreign, like, series on Netflix. And if you've ever watched some of them that, you know were dubbed over i'm like were they actually saying what the dubbers were putting in that they were saying or were they just putting in like crazy stuff because they knew it was funny i don't know both i mean if they do that to us i'll just be laughing both they did so that funny. but whew. and he was like just one more time just one more time with this heavy ass couch i had to bring it all the way back oh yeah because we like had three to times. take it from the trailer over there and bring it but he was in the wrong position, so we had to do it again as if that was fun to just bring back. And I don't know if you remember, but I was telling you earlier that there's something wrong with my foot. So when he was saying that, I was like trying to keep it together, but like, oh. He didn't know you had a hurt it's foot, It's that though. time of the month, my foot. I've never had like They didn't know you had a hurt foot, foot though. No, I didn't, I never You said never it. said it. And I didn't even remember acting like you were fine, so I didn't even think about it. Yeah, I didn't want to like, yeah. We got it up here though. And it was a success. I mean, it's aired off now. So when we were filming with the show, this is what we found. Obviously, other stuff too, but uh, this is the best item we got. So beautiful couch, straight up. And it was different because, like, when we go trash picking, it's just you know what I mean. It presents a whole crazy element, dude. When you're trash picking, and then you have to like have a film crew there. People are thinking it's we, so and crazy. We've never done that, like before so i just didn't know uh, it was just wild <laughs> that was insane to do that because like the people were just like looking outside their curtains and stuff probably They're people like, oh we're from a german tv show I'm no like, no think bad. about the people that we never saw yeah that were just like pulling their curtains aside and like without us even people. knowing and then yeah. being like honey harry there's people outside with a camera and they're Look speaking german trash. and they're speaking german it's the government. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for real. Out. Yeah, I guess that would be kind of weird because when we go, it's literally just this little GoPro with the stick, but like it's kind of nonchalant. If you don't really have that great of eyes, you're not really going to notice it if you're like creeping out your window. They were creeping out. I guarantee you at least 10 people saw us that we didn't see them from their houses. But you said this yesterday. They demand authority. Yeah, by being a foreign company. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So with their accent, like if it was, like you were saying, someone with an American accent. Germans here, though, it's like a whole different. The accent throws people, they're like, oh, they're German, so they're good. We, we trust them. Because imagine the person. The accent. That... But if it was somebody like us just walking up like, yeah, we're with a, but maybe we're not a good example. If it was just somebody that was an American, people would be like, get the off my porch but imagine flying from uh germany to here they know 
off the bat if they're from Germany that they mean business coming here. Just driving around, I live right down the street kind of thing. 10 hour flight. Just to get Late. the shots. That's so crazy. So all in all, successful shoot. So hopefully soon we'll be able to share the real full episode with you guys. But until then, hope you enjoyed the uh, behind the scenes. We filmed as much as we could. Uh, it was hard to just do the regular video for them. Uh, so we didn't get that much footage as I would have liked, but we got some. So hope you guys like the inner look into the behind the scenes of the Tuck and Sammy Galileo episode. Or a partial episode. Gonna need a foot to rub, Barnabas. Okay, I got you. I know what you're saying now, though. Because this is does look like the something that same would be couch in the movie. That would be in the Collins family mansion in the movie Dark Shadows. Didn't finish that yesterday. Or in the Haunted Mansion. Anyway. Or in the Haunted Mansion. That one was good, too. Or in any movie that takes place like a long time ago where there's rich people in the movie. You do have to vacuum the credits. Because this would have been, if this is that old as I think it is, this would have been like somebody wealthy who would have had to have this. Like it's even buying this now uh, would be so expensive. Interesting choice of fabric, right? I would say it's nice. No, it is nice. Look at mama, go so ahead. She's just going right back go in. Go girl. Up. You're okay, baby. Go ahead. Go ahead, mama. No, she didn't. Go oh, ahead. Good girl. Go Don't ahead. go near her, just let her go. I know. Don't even walk towards her. Go ahead, Mama. Go inside. You gotta go potty. Ooh, go ahead. Go with uh go with go with somebody. <laughs> good go girl, on. good girl. Are the other doors open? Yeah. Just that one, right? They better not be. I don't know. No, right? No, we're good. Alright, good. Success, she just walked right through. I've literally, <laughs> literally been out there for hours because Turner had to go film with them for one clip, but I had to stay here because she was under there, but, woo, my feet. Look at her just going around like that with such authority after she yeah, just- Yeah, she's acting ballsy. No, you're not doing that, sit. What you trying to do, sissy? Ooh. Look at her sibling. Very real. Bugs. They're like, it was supposed to stink. She's gonna have to get licked down by Ruru. Get all that stack off of her. Pop up. You a big dog now? Ruru straight just smelled his ass. Okay. So we will be going out to dinner with Yuri, one of the Yuris, not both. But we're gonna take them to a local Applebee's restaurant. So let's do this. Which, because he wants to drink like himself and like experience uh, this area. So I was like, well, maybe I shouldn't recommend like Applebee's. We don't drink. So like, I didn't know. And none of the regular restaurants are open. So like for us to go somewhere and eat, there wasn't really anywhere but Applebee's. But he was claiming they don't have Applebee's over there. Like he didn't even know what it was. So never heard of Applebee's before. That was like mind blowing for me. I don't know if that's just me, but I was like, he's never heard of any Applebee's. No, it'll be a brand new experience like I didn't for him. Say Applebee's because I'm assuming he wants to go to like a, a cool place. I mean, Applebee's, Applebee's is going to be the most enjoyable and for can, him like and a, us. A bar in the middle, right? Yeah, you can order beer there. Yeah. Yeah. So, I just hope he likes it. I don't know. It's a new experience for us all. Because I've never been to Applebee's with a German producer. Me either. <laughs> so, I let's do it. I remember the last time I was... Oh, yes, I did. Last time we were at Applebee's. Not really. I was schmackle. Oh. Nikolai. <laughs> All right, let's pick this boy up. So this is where they booked the uh, the German operation at the Passport Inn. Let's see what the room they're staying in here. I've never even been in the parking lot of this place. Personally. Oh. What? Because I can't even just pull through here. Oh yeah, you can. Wait, is this it? Oh, is that their car right there? 
it's not. A, is it a Ford? No, no, it's a Toyota, right? It's a Toyota. Um, is that him? Maybe. Maybe he. How's he gonna fit there? Where? In that seat behind you with his seven feet. Six, That's what I'm saying. Seven feet tall. Literally. Did they just pull up? Should we get out and say? Yeah. What they're claiming. Well, you were you were away. Where'd you go? Some stuff. <laughs> What's up? You ready to go to Applebee's? Yes. Sure, All right, let's mean. do it. You got to go in here, but how are you gonna fit? You want, You're so tall. You want to say goodbye to to? Oh, okay. Yuri, you can maybe. <laughs> are you? You can't film this. Why? He's him making it there. He's gonna be so mad. Do you think we can film it? Or he? Oh, so Come to say goodbye. Damn, you should have got that. I. I it's turned off. Just just for you. No, fil no <laughs> filming <laughs> naked people in here. <laughs> so you can see the apartment? We'll see yours, right? Yeah, we'll see your place. You know, material is, is copying right now. This is the real behind the scenes yeah, right here. Yeah, this is real behind the scenes. The scenes. It doesn't work, actually. Yeah, yeah, let, me just, let me just hide the dead hooker. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy's a this full is really quality. So the fifth okay, time so his works. humor is American humor. Is American He's been here humor. for too long. Too huh? dark. They, He's they been here for too in America yeah, for yeah, too yeah, long. Yeah. So everything is fine, you know. But you just come in here. This is the stuff of you, you know. Like this grass. is all the gold on here. This is gold. Yeah, this is treasure hunting. This is gold. Copy. What is the this episode is the gold title? You guys got so Sorry? working it's, title. It's actually more like gambling. Treasure, <laughs> treasure, treasure hunting. <laughs> That's the modern treasure title. hunting. Modern treasure hunting. Yeah. That's what it would translate to. Yeah. In, the in, translation okay. is moderne Schatzjagd. <laughs> Every German, German title is basically yeah. imagine the most boring title in the world. That's the German title of everything. <laughs> but the more basic, the more understand it is for people. I found that out on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. That if you want to just make the title basic and something generic, Short. then it's easier Short. to find too. Short. To I like boring. that too, though. Like when I'm looking for movies, anything, shows, it's always simple. But and usually it was a pleasure for real working with no, you guys. We appreciate it, it's like, and it was like the best production like we had, experience we had. And we had we had a great time. You know, yeah. it's like it's you know. <laughs> and so she came she right on in, like she just. Yeah, she just basically gave up and said, left the back screen door open, and we were just sitting, laying on the porch, and well, she just well, that, crept that's what in. happened with with my cat when he ran away. We just realized, you know, it's like leave the door open, and at some point he just kind of like, you know, <laughs> it was probably like 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 th ten feet away, you know, somewhere. <laughs> two days. How much? How much? Memory. Gigabyte. For the episode. This is nearly two no, no, just, for, just for, for the shooting. Day. That's what I mean, and it's only one third of the episode. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it would be about twenty. It'll, it'll be like one and a half terabytes by the time, by the time I I kind of almost killed him because I'm still like stop shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Enough. Enough. <laughs> yeah. I think it was. Yeah. Look at this. Slide. Applebee's, first time, first timer here. First time in here. Excited, yeah. Let's do it. I want to know what's inside. <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see it. Thank you. First time in here. Look at this. What is that? It is chicken alfredo and broccoli. What'd you get? So today? this is uh, salmon, but for German, this is not typical American. For German, he would think like big burgers, big steaks. This is this is American, but that's not reality, you know. <laughs> but this is what German think about uh, American food. Big oh, burgers, that it would big be steaks. bigger than this. A lot of yeah, I mean, much bigger. You're, you're spot on then, but Turner's a different different breed. <laughs> You finished the one? I finished the one and I need uh, another one, you know? She's right here. I'm sorry? Excuse me. I'm sorry? <laughs> Are you guys alright? Doing okay? Yeah, but uh, I, I need another one. Another one? A big beer. You had yingling, right? Yes. Okay, the big yingling. Thank you very much. You know who that just reminded me of, and I know you're going to be watching this, Nick. Yeah, he did. Did that remind yeah, you yeah. of Yeah, yeah. I was thinking that before. That's so funny. I'm literally dying. You're hilarious. Oh, thank you very much. That's gold. <laughs> yeah. gold what is that? Beer, that's gold. 
That's gold, gold flakes. I see them in there. Ah, Yingling. This is America. <laughs> what is it? This is Yingling. This is America. This is great. <laughs> is he getting? Mm -mm. Oh, Yingling first. Yeah. I'm gonna send this clip to Yingling. So we're supposed to be done shooting, and what what what's going on here? I thought we were done. We're never done. And he comes back with the camera. What's going on here, man? Work is never done. <laughs> What's going on here, man? We're going to do a little intro. We forgot to shoot. It's just basically, it's a kind of a funny shot. We're going to shoot in slow motion. Of you guys kind of like pulling basically a treasure out of the garbage and turning to camera. What okay. I just did is exactly what you're going to do. Pick it up. Where's the treasure? It's going to be in those garbage cans because they're nicely backlit. Okay, that's so, perfect. So I'll just show you basically. I just kind of like did a little bit of mock. You know, have like nice like. Yeah, yeah. yeah this so, is actually yeah. really nice. Yeah, you're so, not wearing black shirt today. It's my day off. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> still, you're working. This is a prop for the, this, for this the what, shot. This, this, this is <laughs> what we're gonna use. That's yes. what you're gonna salvage because it's very visual, like pink, you know, and it's like you know, it's a good thing to. Pull a lot out. of people like. So the filming for the German show is officially over. We were supposed to be done last night, and then we went out with Yuri, the producer, to Applebee's. Uh, first time he's ever heard of Applebee's before. <laughs> so we had a fun time there, just ate some food, went to sleep. We were really tired after the two days of shooting. And this morning when we woke up, they had showed up out front of our house because they forgot to film one last little bit that they wanted to get of uh, basically us in slow motion. Uh, and they forgot. But I think the reason they forgot is because we had so much content over the last two days that they just, all the ideas that they probably came prepared with might have gotten overlooked because we were just constantly going and going and going and getting footage. Um, so they said it was basically the best it could have gone and they got everything they needed so they left and they're heading to texas today to film a totally different person that will be appearing in the same episode of the show tomorrow in texas and then to vegas after that so there's going to be us and two other people on this show and i think it's pretty crazy because we film like i am right now every day all the time uh, it's part of our daily lives. We film ourselves and it's kind of like just our lives naturally as we go along and do things throughout the day. So I will have to say having a film crew, even though it was only two people and they were two people that we really, really liked, easiest filming for any production company that I've been a part of ever. It's also is stressful and you do get a lot of anxiety when you're doing a project like this. Because you want it to be good um, and you want to show you know a whole different country and their show has millions of viewers so you're showing millions of people in a different country all the way across the world um, who you are and what you do and why you do it um, so got a lot of anxiety both of us did uh, before the shoot and you can't really help something like that uh, i've spoken of anxiety before and i think it's something that's very overlooked because it's not really a medical condition I guess it's not I mean I think it is but it's definitely debilitating and I'm just happy that we could break out of our shells and really show our true uh, selves on the episode because we did get into the show and we started to just act like ourselves and we were doing things that we do normally so it wasn't like we were taken totally out of our environment and put into another environment and told to do what we do every day we were just you know in our environment and that helped a lot and it made it more natural if you ever have an opportunity to do something similar to this jump on it because it, it was so fun and you get to meet people from way different place in the world that you would never have connected with unless you were doing an, a project like this we would have never met them we would have never known them and maybe eventually we will uh, travel to Germany uh, who knows that would be very cool to do so not that we have plans to do it yet but I think in the future uh, if we have the time and money we will definitely go to Europe um, and make some videos so I just wanted to do like a nice summary conclusion and hopefully 
the episode will be available for everybody to watch. But until then, more showing to take chances on yourself um, because you never know where they're going to go. And also just putting yourself out there into the world for who you really are. Um, Risk being seen um, in all your failures and your successes all together because people like real um, stories and they like real reality. They don't necessarily want to see something fake on YouTube. Um, And that's coming across pretty strong now that we've hit 100,000 subscribers and and surpassed that milestone. And now we have 110 and we're almost at 111,000. So we're moving on. More people are catching on to our channel. And I think more people are connecting with us on a deeper level because of us being real. And a lot of that realness is lost in modern society to the fact of doing trying to copy other people because they want something that those people maybe have i don't know the reasons but stay real stay true and just do you i guess that's the message you can take away from it but loved working with the two germans yuri and yuri awesome people couldn't have have couldn't have hoped for better people to work with on the show um so thank you guys and thank you to America, um, America, the one who reached out event, uh, originally to us. And the show title of this episode will be Modern Treasure Hunters. Um, so that's a pretty cool title, I think. We'll just leave it at that. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.